Well, it looks like the band will be back together because the last coaching spot has been filled. Court coming from Adam Schefter a little while ago says from Dallas to D.C., the commanders are hiring Cowboys defensive coordinator Dan Quinn as their head coach per league sources. Quinn and commanders GM Adam Peters are now two men, the two men charged with leading Washington into the future. And that means that with all of the coaching vacancies now filled, Aaron Glenn will most likely remain defensive coordinator for the Detroit Lions. Now, I know that I am probably the the minority. I said that yesterday. I have not been a fan of Aaron Glenn and his defensive play calling. I know what a lot of you guys are going to say is we don't have the capabilities. We don't have the personnel for him to do his job correctly. And that could be true. One thing I'm not going to do, though, is all year long, I have been targeting a person. And it seems like that the fan base, you guys who watch during the season, you know, I was the one critiqued and criticized about holding somebody accountable for our defense. And it was, it seems like nobody wants to do it. We're all in this, in this happy slappy, like we're winning games and all of that stuff matters. It doesn't matter as long as we winning games. That's not true at all. Because when rubber meets the road, it matters. When you have to win a game, it matters. And at the end of the season, it matters, right? So, yes, 31 teams fail every single year. But those 31 teams, I don't care anything about. And I care about the Detroit Lions and where they rank. And when you see problems, you see problems. I've been calling for a pass rush. I've been calling for a lot of things that they wind up being the case. They wind up being the case. Now, the Detroit Lions ranked 19th in yards per game, meaning their defense, their defense ranked 19th in yards per game. Okay, cool. That's not, that is top third. I mean, not, I'm sorry. You, now you're in the second third of defense. You might say, wow. Okay, cool. Now, the yards per game is one thing, but it doesn't matter how many yards you get per game. It's all about the points, right? It's all about the points, usually lot yards. So it doesn't matter what happens between goal line and goal line. It's about getting points. Now, here's, here's the crazy part about the Detroit Lions when it comes to their defense. Their defense, the Detroit Lions, which is it's weird because you're saying that the Cleveland Browns, like the Cleveland Browns, this, this can't be right because they're saying that the Cleveland Browns have allowed 45 points per game, and, and that can't be right. But the Detroit Lions, according to ESPN, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they ranked, what is that, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27. That means that they are 27th in points per game, allowing 26.7 points per game. Does not matter. Yards does not matter. Points matter. So Aaron Glenn, our defense went from 32 to 28 to 26. So you're saying that he's getting better. He's getting better. Theoretically, yes. Technically, yes. 32 to 28, better. 28 to 26, better. Now we're going into year four. Aaron Glenn, this defense has to take a massive jump in order for us to do anything. Now here's here's my thing. My thing is this. It's time to hold someone accountable, okay? We are going into year four. We are at, the, the this is the highest point the Lions have been in probably the last 10 years through Matt Patricia, through Jim Caldwell. We've got the most money. We've got a GM who knows what he's doing, or at least appears so. We've got a coach who knows what he's doing as well, right? Now we're going into the, this is the money-making time for Aaron Glenn. Now, you might say, excuse me, well, Derek, why are you trying to pinpoint? Why are you trying to blame one specific person? Because that's where we are. That's where we are. You're going to blame Dan Campbell if he goes for it on fourth down and he misses. That's his fault, right? That's his fault. He should have taken the points. You're going to blame Josh Reynolds if he misses a catch. That's his fault. That's what he's supposed to do. If Aaron Glenn, we're at the point now that someone needs to be held accountable. Is it Brad Holmes' fault that our defensive line was bad? Yes, it was. Is it Aaron Glenn's fault that the scheme didn't change? Yes, it was. So now we're going into the offseason. And somebody, I remember somebody called into the show and they said, Derek, 
you don't you don't really want to blame Aaron Glenn. You want to blame Brad Holmes. And I thought about it and I sat down and said, he might be right. I've been blaming Brad Holmes. I have been blaming Brad Holmes. You cannot draft Broderick Martin. Just put it like this. If Aaron Glenn was to get was to have gotten a coaching job, a head coaching job, we would have gotten compensatory picks. Those compensatory picks could change this team around, okay? Instead, they were used on Broderick Martin, who did nothing for our team. Now, what I want to see, I want to see this team out of the 20s in points per game. That's what I want to see. It's either on talent or it's on scheme. It's either talent or coaching. If it's on talent, that falls on Brad Holmes. If it's on scheme, that falls on Aaron Glenn. I'm not going to sit here and, and pull my hair out, the hair that I have left. This guy is the one good thing. Well, two good things. One, the players respect him. They respect him. So that means that they're going to give it all they have for him. And, and the other thing is the band stays together. We now have the exact same coaching staff outside of uh, the, the soon-to-be new defensive line and defensive run game coordinator coach. And I'm sure some, some probably small changes or other coaching changes may happen, but we have the same coaching staff that we had going into 2023. So now, no disruption. You know, a lot of times change can disrupt things. We saw what happened with the um, <clears throat> the Indianapolis Colts, the teams that lose their offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator. They usually take a step back. None of them. So that means that, so that's a plus. That's a plus. But I will say this. I hear it a lot in the comment section. I will not forget firing Aubrey, Aubrey Pleasant in sake of Aaron Glenn. You sacrifice Aubrey Pleasant for Aaron Glenn, and we have made minute jumps in defense. 32 to 28 to 26. That is a total of six spots in three years. It is time to get a top 20 defense. We need to be out of the 20s. The San Francisco 49ers, that's how you're allowed. That's how you can score 27 unanswered points. If you go back and you look at the defense, 27, 27, 27, 27, and 27, the Lions allowed, had five straight games where their team allowed 26 or more points. Something has to change. I don't care who you want to put it on. It's either, it's somebody is to blame. Now, and that's why we're not in the Super Bowl. Yes, everybody holds blame. Dan Campbell, Aaron, Aaron Glenn, uh, Ben Johnson, Josh Reynolds. You can blame the entire team, coaches, staff, and players. But the bottom line is, you cannot continue to allow over 25 points game after game after game after game. And if it is about the personnel, then that falls on Brad Holmes. I am tired, ladies and gentlemen. I'm tired. I'm ready to go to the promised land. I'm tired. No more excuses. None. There is no excuse that we're talking about the offseason 10 days before the Super Bowl. There is zero excuse. This is something that never will leave. The only thing now that will help this go past is making and winning a Super Bowl. We all have to cope differently. We all do. And I refuse to, there is no silver lining, no moral victory. There's none of that with me. So anyway, Aaron Glenn, pros, he's respected. The band stays together. But this is going to be a season of clarity. We're going to see what everybody's capable of. I'm in Ross St. Brown. It's about to get paid. Does he fall off? Jared Goff's about to get an extension. Does he collapse? Ben Johnson, can he fix the, the third quarter woes? Aaron Glenn, can he stop anyone when it matters? Brad Holmes, what are you going to do being in the best position you've been in in your tenure as Detroit Lions general manager? Dan Campbell, are you going to learn from your mistakes and progress as a head coach? What did Dan Campbell say? It's not, it's only wrong. It's only a failure if you don't learn from it. Look, I'm not upset. 
I'm not upset because the proof is going to be in the pudding. And I keep telling you guys, I'd rather look dumb and have you guys mock and criticize me on, on the platform. I mean, I get paid for you to do it, right? So I'd rather you do that and my team is in the Super Bowl while y'all all pointing at me looking dumb. I'm saying, saying I'm, I'm looking dumb and I told you, when did I tell you? And have a, a Super Bowl and be on Woodward with a parade. I would take that nine, ten out of ten times. I'm taking that. I don't want to be right on the losing end. Eric Glenn is out of chances. Brad Holmes, put a team together. Assemble this team. It's funny that I'm the one that don't know football, but I'm the one that be right. All I hear in the comment section is you don't know ball. Really? I prophesied this stuff all by looking at numbers. That's it. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. There's no reason we should be sitting here. It's not. And I know that a lot of y'all are trying to move on, but this junk is hard, man. It's no reason. Mentally, I'm not ready to be talking about the offseason. When we were 30 minutes away from our first Super Bowl appearance, y'all didn't have to walk. And I appreciate y'all for sending me to California. But to walk, I'm telling you, man, bang, bang, Niner gang, Niner, all that stuff, the walk of shame that I had to take. When that team, we had them arrogant fools with their tails between their legs. The whole stadium was shh. That's it. Aaron Glenn, man, this is your time. This is the whole team. This is the whole team. I'm ready to dominate. I don't know about y'all, man. I'm ready to dominate. All this, you know, I'm ready. I'm, I'm tired of being underdogs. I'm tired of being the, the attaboys. I'm tired of, no, man, no. Nope. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on Aaron Glenn. It, it is what it is. He's here. Nothing's going to change as far as no coaching staff changes. You know what you got to do, so do it. I want a top 20 defense and points per game. No more of this 20 crap. I want top 10, point blank, period. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.